believe that this is my very first vlog of 2024. 2024 has just started and my life has already changed and put upside down <laughs> like crazy. If you can relate to that, thumbs up this video. <laughs> I really feel like I need to give you guys a life update on everything that has been going on. First and foremost, um, my mom came to visit me. Um, she just left. Uh, she stayed with me for a little bit over two weeks, which was really nice. And one of the things that me and my mom have been working on is my new costume for my competitive artistic inline skating season. Last year was my very first year and I did make it to nationals. I will link the vlog where I share my journey going to the US National Championships here and in the description box. Um, and I've learned a lot from that experience and I think that everything that I learned in that experience I am now taking with me for this next season. And my first competition is going to be mid-February. It's going to be California State Games. I'm participating in a few different categories, or we call them events. Every event has a different routine um, or program, like we like to call it. Um, last year, I skated to the Sugar Plum Ferry from the Nutcracker. And this year, I really wanted to do something completely different and challenge myself. So for my theme this year, I wanted to be a snake. It's inspired first of all by the python from Jungle Book. Um, I'm skating to the live action song sung by Scarlett Johansson but then after that it cuts to a song from Taylor Swift and the reason why is because in her Reputation Era um, tour she wore this amazing one-legged um, jumpsuit with snakes on it and it was designed by Roberto Cavalli and when I went to the movies and saw the Eras uh, show um, I was like oh my gosh this has to be my program uh, I actually had a different song picked but I changed it I talked to my choreographer and I was like we need to skate to Taylor Swift because I want to wear this costume so I asked my mom to recreate it. Um, we obviously like did the designing together, but my mom did all the sewing and I'm so grateful. She worked so hard on it and it's so beautiful. So I'm going to show you right now. So guys, here you have it. This is my beautiful outfit for this year's Creative Solo. Um, it has all the red snakes that uh, Taylor Swift has on her outfit as well. It's not exactly the same because I didn't want it to be like a exact copy. Um, and we also added like way more stones. Um, she doesn't have these like loose stones, but uh, it's so, so gorgeous and it's quite heavy. <laughs> so I really need to like test drive wearing this outfit while skating because it definitely adds like I don't know a few pounds to my body for sure um but yeah I'm I'm so so in love with it and I'm so grateful that my mom was able to spend so much time on it and make my dreams come true so that's like the first major update that i wanted to share with you guys before i get started with the day because today i'm actually going to an event together with my friend ariana we're going to pixie boutique events they are launching some new beauty products pixie is a really cute uh, skincare and makeup brand um, and they have this beautiful boutique in century city um, and they invited us to check out some of the new products so as you can see i already did my hair and makeup and the very last step i still have to do is apply some perfume and the scent i'm wearing today is from dossier it's the floral marshmallow scent and this scent right here is definitely top three of my all-time favorite scents especially for the pre-spring and Valentine's Day season and that is why I'm very excited that I'm actually partnering with Dossier for this video. Um, if you watch some of my older videos you know that I've worked with them before and ugh, I really love um, working with them consistently because I'm obsessed with their products and I actually have some new products to unbox that I haven't tried before and I'm excited to share with you. So Floral Marshmallow is inspired by the By Killian's Love Don't Be Shy fragrance. This scent right here is perfect if you're into 
floral but sweet like vanilla caramel scents as well and what i love about dossier is that all their scents are really good quality dupes of more expensive fragrances but then for a very affordable price all their scents are vegan and cruelty free which as a vegan is obviously really important they're also great if you value clean beauty which i do because they're paraben free as well as phthalate free i always butcher that term so let me just spray some floral marshmallow on me Ugh, so good while i'll show you some of the other products because they don't only have um fragrances they actually also have candles so this right here oh, look at this gorgeous big candle i just love big candles this is the floral marshmallow candle so not only am i going to smell like a floral marshmallow my whole home is going to smell like a floral marshmallow mm, oh my gosh it smells so good exactly the same and i love that there's two wigs so now i have and the candle and the perfume last but not least a beautiful diffuser floral marshmallow so i can burn a candle i can have my diffuser um in my apartment as well and then i smell like a floral marshmallow too and for all of you guys that want to give your mom your girlfriends your loved ones a gift for valentine's day i think that this is such a cute gift you obviously don't have to get all three but if you do i'm sure somebody would really appreciate it because i always see my home as an extension of me if that makes sense i almost see it as the external version of my internal world so the fact that my home can smell the same way as me it's kind of goals <laughs> maybe that's weird but i love it so um yeah if you guys are interested in checking out dossier i will have linked everything down below um as well as my discount code that you can use so my loves this is my outfit for today i am wearing a beautiful trench coat that i got i think two years ago or one year ago no one year ago in Stradivarius um, it's quite thin so it's perfect for LA then my dress is this beautiful new dress that I got from the brand Hires Hires uh, Aris I don't really know exactly how to pronounce that word but uh, I will link it down below it is so flattering um, it is a little short but you can kind of adjust this front piece to be slightly longer um, and it's a nice beautiful corset style I got it in a size S and I will say that I could have probably gone for an XS it's slightly um, loose on me at the top but it does make it more comfortable to wear and then my bag is this bulgari bag that i love as well as these white boots that i got from lulu's and now it is time to go <laughs> so it's time to get going and instead of waiting for my uber we are going to take a ride in my brand new car oh my gosh you guys um this is her my very very first car that i bought myself I couldn't be happier with her. It's a Toyota Corolla hybrid. I really wanted a hybrid car because I do really care about the environment. That's one of the reasons why I'm vegan. It was used, but it only had 20,000 miles on it. It had never been in an accident and had a clean title and only one owner. And I got it at a dealership, um, a Toyota dealership, uh, because one of my friends worked there. So she gave me a really good deal. And she's black on the outside and kind of this gray scent beige on the inside which was something i really wanted i did do a whole tour um and like kind of car organization already on my instagram as well as on my youtube shorts and tiktok but i'll give you guys a little peek right now too first of all i got this really cute key cover um everything that i'm going to show you is by the way from amazon um and then my beautiful car interior um the steering wheel is so nice and very comfortable i got it from amazon as well then i used my little skates ornaments as um, kind of a car decor piece i thought it was such a good idea to use christmas ornaments in your car i have this little sunglass holder as well as this really nice furry arm rest cover 
had to make my car coquette and added this little bow. And then this right here is my phone holder, which is magnetic. I worked with MagSafe, which is so much more convenient um, because you don't have to click it in and you can also turn it uh, whatever direction you want it to go. Really nice for vlogging too and it sticks very very well. I also have this really cute trash can for like wrappers and stuff to keep my car clean. And then on the back seat I have a cute little pillow from Target, blanket from Ikea, these little coasters, marble coasters, and these really nice hooks for bags um, or my handbag or anything like that. That's just a little interior tour of my car. I'm so happy with her. I think she's so pretty. And yeah, now it's time to get going. Uh, I truly love how I organize my car. It looks so cute. Oh my God. So this is my very first time vlogging in a car, not as a passenger princess, but as um, a driver, <laughs> a driving princess. I honestly can't believe that I have my license and that I have my own car. It feels like such a milestone. And I know that for a lot of people, especially in the US, it's not that big of a deal because everybody drives here and everybody has their license when they're like 15, 16. But for me, it's a huge, huge milestone. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very, very happy that I finally bit the bullet and took driving lessons. I first had friends teaching me but it was really hard to kind of like, I don't know, have lessons with them consistently because everybody's busy, everybody has, you know, their life. So I couldn't really rely on it consistently. So I just decided to um, have driving lessons and um, it was a little bit of a chaos, honestly, getting my license the first time I failed which really sucked because I actually drove perfectly until the last turn. I drove on the bike lane, which as a very well-versed cyclist myself coming from the Netherlands was ridiculous. I usually never make that mistake. I always recognize bike lanes because I've been on them so much. But yeah, this time around, uh, I just didn't see it because there weren't any cars parked and there wasn't a really clear sign that it was a bike lane so yeah the first time I failed and then the second time I took it in a different location the first time I took it in Glendale and the second time I took it in Withier which is this very like more calm slash industrial city so it was much easier to take the test there and I passed with two mistakes um and both the instructor and the examiner said that i was a good driver so i'm very happy about that but yeah that's just me rambling on in the car so i will see you guys later at the event so much we haven't seen each other in like a month, a over, month, a month. Over, over a month yeah i feel like this is probably one of the longest times we ever have seen each other yeah. without Absolutely. leaving the country right. or anything <laughs> crazy that happens in LA. i know but that was for you Flat, you know, um, no glow. Nobody had any glow. 
Which, can we all get some money for her outfit? Doesn't she have a baby? Oh, no. <laughs> like, I don't want it. Right, you walked in. I was like, like, when I do it, they're like, it's not appropriate for work. <laughs> Giving, like, Christina Aguilera a burlap. Oh, thank you. I love her. Yeah, right? <laughs> So this shade natural luster is going to give this really, really creamy, uh, not quite gold, but that just kind of like warm, creamy, golden, I just said that gold, yes. I feel like in their skin tone, so it really gives you that just like dewy look. Like it doesn't give you even highlight really, it gives you like, oh she is like angled and glowing and lit up from within. It's almost like a champagne kind of pigment. It's kind of like you just also so gorgeous. Here, it's really great to pull over. I love it. So nice. Yeah, and you could do a little jewelry on it, so I'm not going to do too much. I'll touch a little right here. Because on your skin tone, it's really intense. You look like you just got out of the bubble. I need this one. So pretty. I love it. So pretty. So this is the best ice cream ever. Oh, it's very aesthetic. So today I made this really nutritious bowl, which is so easy to make. And especially if you're craving like a lot of different things at once, making a bowl at home is just the best solution. So I have some lentils that I sauteed together with garlic, oregano, um, and shallots, as well as tomatoes. Then I have a little salad with avocado, walnuts, arugula, lemon, and everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I have some broccolini with breadcrumbs and um, some citrus, some um, lemon. So, bon appétit! Time for a little evening snack. I made myself some strawberries with coconut cream. This is so, so good. I love it. So guys, as you can see, I am back home again. And if you hear a little bit of a background noise, that is my heater that's on because it's actually really cold right now. Um, I wanted to quickly show you what I got in my Pixie goodie bag because um, they always give me such sweet goodies. Um, first of all, they gave me a personalized glow tonic which is a great tonic especially if you struggle with hyperpigmentations or um, acne um, really really good staple and then then i got the new on the glow super glow um, in the color natural luster it's the highlighter i'm wearing right now that they put on me and it's really really nice very natural I also got this very beautiful lilac endless silky eye pen, um, which is really cute as a pop of color, as well as the Hydra lip treat. This is a tinted lip balm and I got the color Nectar. Then I actually tried this in the store as well and I'm obsessed. It's the antioxidant tonic with blueberry and birch water. Now Pixie is very known for their tonics and toners, but this one right here is probably my favorite one so far it's like super hydrating almost feels like an essence and i tried it on my hands and i was obsessed i honestly can't wait to add this to my skincare routine and then last but not least uh, i got the pixie on the glow blush and this is a ph tinted moisture stick and it actually changes based on your ph balance um it should get like a pretty cute pink color i hope it's going to be this pink on me a lot of um like ph stuff usually turns a little bit more red on me which i don't necessarily like but um hopefully this one will be pink so that's everything in my little goodie bag so thank you so much pixie i'm pretty tired right now so i think i'm gonna go to bed i really hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you watch till the end leave me the comments with the word car <laughs> uh, because i think that's definitely definitely a theme of this of this vlog um, in the comments down below feel free to also uh, check out my instagram which is lily like Calm, as well as my tiktok which is lilia kazakova and i'll see you guys in the next video bye